Do you give the tours? Hello. Good. And who's this? Who's this? So it's private. Uh, well, yeah. So this section here is the extension. This is where um, this is where Leone lives in her family. Okay. So, and then this is the castle. Uh, I'll take you around and show you. Sure. Excellent. Awesome. And by the way, my, my name is Sam. Nice uh, I'm Louis. Louis. Nice, nice to meet you, Louis. United Jerry. States. Jerry, nice to meet you. Um, so yeah, this is one more castle. Um, and yes, this is built in the 15th century by uh, Norman soldiers when they came over. And. Um, Excuse me, and they would have used this as a port of trade mm -hmm. and uh, as a defense structure. And that's mainly because obviously back in the 15th century, there were no planes, no planes. Oh. <laughs> right, so right. Obviously, the only um, way that attackers uh, uh, actually uh, was a threat was by ocean, was by boat. Okay. So, you know, they, they would get around. Um, so that's what you'll see um, on the coast of Ireland, actually. You'll see a lot of um, kind of these structures, castles, um, and defense towers, round towers, all of that. And, their main purpose would have been defense. Um, and I'd say this one would also um, have served uh, the purpose of uh, trade as well. Um, and uh, yeah, anyway, so the Normans, they, uh, they came and they went and eventually the castle was on use, it was abandoned. Having some leaks recently, okay. So, so and it's limestone, so it does get a little slippy. Mm -hmm. So just proceed with caution. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> Good. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> wow. So we are stepping now into the great hall. I apologize for the mess here. So yeah, this is the great hall. And it would have been used as a dining room, as you can see here. This is actually a new style, I believe. Uh, or a new Look at this. Um, she actually um, 
was married and settled down with a man called Bill Keith, a very well respected man, very well known man in our community. Um, he uh, fought in World War II and he was in the Navy and he was the chief commander of a submarine squad. And they managed to actually torpedo two Japanese uh, ships, sinking the Japanese uh, ships and obviously um, drowning some, some soldiers. Um, and actually a very interesting thing, and we will, uh, I will be able to show it to you um, throughout the, uh, the tour. Um, for one of his birthdays in later life, um, one of the families of the soldier actually came over to Ireland and they gifted him a peach tree and a lovely sword. Oh. Yeah, and we have the sword, we have the peach tree. Unfortunately, the peach tree is planted in a private garden. It's a shame I can't actually uh, take the show to you uh, in person, but um, we'll be able to see it um, from some windows and stuff like that. It, it's, it's unfortunate, but uh, it's just... It's Does just anyone nice. live in this section? Well, nobody actually lives in the actual castle now. They okay. used to. Okay. Um, like, literally through there is actually your house. <laughs> so, <laughs> they live in the extension, but yeah. Um, when Anita was still alive, they all actually did actually live here and would be entering some bedrooms and things like that. Could it's, you it's imagine? And it's actually, it's, uh, it's quite random as well, because we have things from the 1940s, 50s, and then right. things from the 40s, The 50s. saloon yes. sign. <laughs> I know that's that. And that's great. actually another thing as well. Um, Anita Leslie, she did a lot of traveling, so we have a lot of stuff from other cultures as well. Okay. Um, and that'll become very evident uh, yeah. throughout the tour. Um, but um, yeah, so the Great Hall, they hope the, it's up. It's warm though. I mean, Yeah, not, it is warm. No, I do have a fire. Yeah, yeah. Um, but especially back before radiators and for stuff like that, it would have been freezing. Uh, fires would have oh, been a necessity. Oh, 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 a necessity. Right, right, right. And as well, actually, the damp atmosphere. We can actually see as well on the on the wall here. You can mm. see that massive patch of moisture. Right. And it's actually right, covered with right. some leaks. You can even see on the wood there. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it's unfortunate that I was talking about even on the carpet here. So uh, yeah, we've been going through getting the old pots out, stopping the, <laughs> the drops, and getting some mops out and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, and we can actually see up here, uh, we have some beautiful tapestry on the wall. Yeah, I saw that. Now, wow. it's not well preserved. Mm -hmm. As I said, the damp atmosphere, it would have definitely taken a toll on it, unfortunately. Yeah. And actually, um, last year, around this time actually, last year, there was a massive uh, storm that we had. And um, the tide, it was just force of nature, the tide just rose off as high as this window. Wow. And smashed the window. Water came pouring in, wow. destroying the place. Um, and yeah, and we, we have managed to get it back on track and stuff like that, which mm -hmm. is great. Um, but yeah, we lost a lot of stuff. Actually, oh, unfortunately. yeah. But yeah, it was just, it's just, just simply how it is. Um, and yeah, obviously we have that window boarded up now. Did their, the main house get down? Um, I believe this section here, I, I, I can't take it. No, no, that's but I believe this section here was pretty much for it, yeah. Um, but thankfully the upstairs section where it's actually where their property was, was, it was okay. Um, but um, yeah, um, they would have actually as well hosted a lot of concerts. And really? Of, um, dinner parties as well. I see the organ there. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that, that would probably have been used. Um, and as well, uh, the acoustics actually as well. Remember, you can, I can hear yeah, yeah, they would have been very good actually for, for concerts. Um, yeah, we have uh, an altar as well. So this is a beautiful piece actually. This is actually from the uh, local library actually. It used to be a church and we uh, converted it into a library. And, uh, we decided to okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what is so, the name of the church, the new church? The new church is just called Ornmore Parish. Ornmore Parish, yeah. okay. Um, uh, obviously the old parish. Right. Um, but yeah, a beautiful piece of work. Obviously the uh, lizards enjoying a pint of Guinness work. Uh, <laughs> that didn't come with it. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, a beautiful piece. Uh, we do have a picture as well of uh, Bill King. Who um, I, I, I'm, I'm unsure of what his exact age was at the time. Of this oh, was a child, but yeah. he had just joined the navy. I'm guessing 17, 18. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. um, he looks quite young, though. I right. have to be um, That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. These are actually Egyptian, actually, as yeah. well. Anita, she did go to Egypt, and she actually took quite a liking um, to Egyptian um, Art. uh, architecture and mm -hmm. stuff like that. You will see as we go into the kitchen, yeah. actually. Um, yeah, you can see Egyptian, Egyptian, Egyptian. Right. Uh, no, that's just. Oh, African. I, I like it. It's just. <laughs> it's <an African. laughs> I'm not sure actually where this uh, cabinet actually came from. Ooh. It's definitely not from Ireland, I'll tell you that much. Um, and this, is that her? That is Nina, yeah, uh, in her prime. Wow. And is that here? Uh, I don't believe so. I'd say that was actually in Castle Desert, which is up north in Northern Ireland. Um, but uh, yeah. Castle Desert. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yes, oh, yes. Oh, great, yeah. How was it? So a year or two ago, we were. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah great. Yeah. And well preserved. 
Yeah. 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 yeah it's like more it was right on the board. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it was the, it was the monitor and the gap. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. We do have uh, an inscription as well. Please, uh, Lord. This was uh, made around the on the place, actually on the castle up there. And you can see actually, they actually as well built an extension. On the oh, side. look at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. and that's, I, I think, possibly, that's maybe where Anita got the idea to build an extension. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. And uh, they would have actually um, lived in the extension more than the actual oh, castle. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. We have a picture here of um, Phil uh, Leone, her brother Tarka, who um, I'm actually not sure. Um, anything about him actually, I, I, I don't know what, what he's up to now, mm. um, and obviously Anita there. And, and Leone um, still lives here? Yeah, uh, Leone is uh, still living here actually, yeah. How old is she? Um, mm -hmm. Probably in her 60s, I'd say. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, so okay. she's re that. relatively young. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and what do you call this room that we're in? Well, we're in the Great Hall at the, the moment. The Great Hall. Yeah, okay. so um, yeah, a beautiful, beautiful room. We do have uh, the banqueting hall upstairs, which it's going to knock your socks off. Well, I think, hopefully. Okay. <laughs> it Let's knocks go. my socks off every time. <laughs> actually, as well, we do have Claire Shedden that I mentioned earlier. Um, she's, a, she's a sculptress. She was actually Anita's cousin. Um, the one who carved the statue outside? Yeah, yeah. And she actually made this as well. Um, mm, this is the head beautiful. of uh, Mary. Yeah, very, very talented she was. Um, and we actually do have some more statues that she has made throughout the castle. Okay. Um, so, yeah, uh, this is more or less it. We do have some armor as well. Authentic, actually. Uh, armor. A face shield kind of thing. Right. And then we do have a helmet there as well. Just kind of just uh, bear it by stuff. Right. We have some documents as well. If you want to stop and take a read or take any photographs, feel free. Um, this is uh, on I need Leslie. Bill King, who, uh, as I said, was in the Navy. He was, he was a, quite the man, actually. Mm. He successfully single handedly sailed around the world by himself. Um, in his 60s, actually. And actually, the first time he attempted it, his boat actually capsized and he had to be rescued. So, yeah, it was quite crazy, actually. Um, yeah. So, uh, that's more or less it. Uh, we're going to continue. I just okay. do have to we'll get you to sign a form. Sure. Now, it's just to say, you can't take any liability right, for right. any possible injury. I can assure you he'll be fine. It's sure. just to make sure. Here's all. That's just not very professional. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Okay, we'll continue. As, as you can see, we've had some, uh, oh, some yeah. flooding. Um, now, thankfully, I used the mop. I apologize for the mess. Um, but yeah, so this is the, the kitchen that uh, Nina and Bill would have used um, oh, to prepare food and stuff. Um, and overall, a beautiful just sense of architecture, I think. A beautiful wall here. Uh, I'm not sure what wood that is, actually. Um, and yeah, and actually, back when the Normans occupied, so way before Nina, uh, wow. this would have been the guard room. And uh, this is where they stored all their ammunition, all their weapons, everything. They were stored in this room. Um, and actually in the bathroom, it's a beautiful bathroom, by the way. Uh, mm -hmm. Sure enough, a little bit tiling. Wow. Here. So, yeah, it's beautiful. Really, really and this beautiful. is her work. She um, yeah, she, she, um, right. she had this done all wow. up. And so, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Um, anyway, so this here, this narrow window is called an arrow slit. Oh, um, sure. Yeah, so if there was an attacker... Uh, they would have run up here into the guard room, gotten their stuff, like arrows and bows and things like that, uh, set up here and got ready to shoot out over the entrance. Um, and this was this uh, one in particular is actually very important because it l literally looks over the main uh, entrance. Oh, okay. So yeah, it was very, very important. Uh, it was just kind of a, a prioritized one. Um, and yeah, uh, it was beautiful. We have a piece of art as well, actually. By the only fit herself, she, uh, she does some art as well. It's it's very um, abstract. So mm -hmm. it's, it's beautiful mm -hmm. um, that this is Leone herself, uh, her three cats, um, and actually the peach tree that I uh, mentioned. Oh, right. Yeah, right there. Uh, we have the castle, and we actually have the swans, the infamous swans of Warren Moore. Um, these guys are they've been uh, pretty popular recently, actually, because um, they um, try to set up nests there uh, mm. under the bridge, and it's, the river is a tidal river, so it rises and mm, lowers right. with the tide. Um, and due to this, they couldn't actually uh, sustain their nests because they kept on getting drowned and stuff like that. So they couldn't lay their eggs and they had no place. And eventually they were actually um, slowly, slowly dying out. So the public stepped in and we built a little raft um, that could float with the, with the rising tide and the lower tide. And now they're, they're flourishing. They're, they're doing great. So That's it's, great. Yeah, it's really good. It's, it's, it's amazing. Um, so, yeah. 
Uh, that's more or less everything I have to show you. We Excellent. do have some pictures of birds and stuff. They love their birds. We have actually bird cages laying around the place. Um, I obviously use for birds. <laughs> um, so yeah, yep. once again, I apologize for that. That's all right. That's all right. Um, so yeah. It's wild. And actually, as well, you can see beautiful doorway. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Egyptian. It's, yeah, Egyptian design. Now, whether this Oops, is from Egypt, Egyptian. <laughs> <laughs> whether this is um, authentic right. or not, I don't know. As I said, Anita, she was an author and an artist, so she could have easily recreated this herself. Sure. Um, very, very good at it. Oh. <laughs> Obviously, beautiful um, design. Beautiful. Anyway, so yeah, we'll continue. Please hold on to these uh, okay. these uh, roof, uh, stairways just for your safety. We do here Going as up. well have a back plate. Oh, right, right, this right, is right, authentic, right. Um, normal backplate. Um, as you can see, actually, see for um, for uh, an adult male slash teenage boy, yeah, it would have been re it's it's relatively small, I think. Right, right. And um, uh, it would lead me to believe anyway that uh, people may have been slightly smaller, slightly smaller, possibly. Right, right, and, right. I could be wrong. It could just be a smaller um, mm -hmm. piece of armor designed for maybe a teenager or something. Um, we do have another arrow slit here, yeah. and as you can see, it's been modified. It has uh, some uh, gripes in the in the sides. So this pretty much was just uh, to allow the archer to have a bigger radius and right, more right, uh, right. Um, way of aiming. Okay. We have another arrow slit here. This and these would have been yeah. the more important ones as they overlook the main entrance. Right. Uh, Jesus, say, just Come okay, in here, watch yes. your head. The doors are quite low. I apologize for that. Small people. <laughs> Whoa, look at the bedroom. Yeah, so this is the first guest bedroom. So, um, <laughs> oh, look at that view. I know it's, it's amazing. <laughs> um, now, Leone actually um, allowed people to rent out um, these rooms and uh, actually sleep in them, kind of like a hotel. And it was just a bit of a way of making a, bit, uh, a little extra bit of money. Sure. Um, and this was um, the, uh, the top rated room. Mainly because it was the warmest, uh, naturally the warmest anyway, had the most insulation and whatnot. And as you pointed out, actually as well, I'd say the view was actually a, yeah. a big factor. It's a beautiful. If you can just imagine waking up to a beautiful sunny sky. And a what's, what's open? Oh, that's open. Yeah, sorry. I that's <laughs> right. um, now, obviously, the uh, estates wouldn't have been there mm, right, uh, right, at the right. time when she used to rent out rooms, so the view would have been absolutely incredible. I think. Um, yeah. It's one of your swans. <laughs> Um, we do actually as well have a, uh, a Norman toilet, actually. Um, so this is literally just what they use to do their business. Right. Obviously, they would have sat down, uh, done their stuff, gotten some hot water, and simply washed it out, and out it goes. And that was Whoa. It. Yeah, and it goes to show how far we've come in terms of hygiene. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> um, and there's a sink. Yeah, this is a sink as well. Uh, I'm not sure what time period that's from, uh, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, it's a sink. Um, we do as well, actually, on the window sill there. We have a helmet from uh, World War One, I, I believe, a, a British helmet. Oh, so, oh, oh, oh. Feel free to pick it up. Um, yeah, now I don't believe this was used by uh, by Bill because he would have been in the Navy, would have probably been suffering the majority of the time, I would have thought. And as well, this is an arrow slit as well, so you could have your uh, your soldier. Oh, uh, that's station, true, right, up, right? Unfortunately, stationed over a toilet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, a lot of hot water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, we also as well have a picture of Jane's store. Um, now, she was the most <clears> recent <throat> owner of Art for a House. Um, Art for a House is in uh, Renville Park. I'm not sure if you've been there. No. Uh, no. Yeah, well, Renville Park, a little bit place. Um, Art for a House. It's now, it's gone derelict now. It's completely out of use. Um, but yeah, um, she lived here and Art Fry house in Rebel and Ornwell Castle actually had a very uh, a nice close and a friendly relationship and they would have had parties over here and you know oh you know come over here for dinner party at uh, our house and stuff like that they would have exchanged gifts on Christmas and birthdays mm. and stuff like that. so they had a very friendly and happy relationship um, the two families and uh, yeah and anyway as they moved on as they passed on they were leaving you know moving out to nursing homes and whatnot they actually left Ormore Castle with one more gift, one single goodbye gift, and it's actually on the doorway there. And that is um, just simply a stone carving out of limestone, I believe, uh, just of a cat. It's called the Cat of Art Fry House. And it's nothing special, but it's mm -hmm. it's nice. It's, yeah, it's a nice yeah. thing to have, especially in the doorway. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah. yeah.
We okay. also have rumors of uh, ghosts. Uh, yeah. Oh like, no! Like ghosts, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I'm a bit of a skeptic myself. But I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's called the White Lady, and people who have slept in this room have um, reported waking up in the middle of the night with her sitting on on your uh, at, the, at the end of the bed and having a conversation with you. Uh, she was apparently a friendly spirit, um, but uh, yeah, so I'm a little bit of a skeptic, as I said. Um, You're not gonna give it a go? Uh, I don't think I'll, I, I won't give it a go. Sleep, sleep in the night, <laughs> find out. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay, that's the room. That's kind of how I make a small bit of money. Yeah. Um, but the grant um, goes towards, you know, obviously her livelihood, and um, a small bit of it goes towards keeping the castle safe. So we have a, a saving for the castle to keep it all in good condition. So mm -hmm. hopefully I won't be the one mocking this up. I'm actually going to get the roof fixed because, you know, <laughs> it is made out of pipes. Yeah, so it's yeah. Pretty cool, so the water comes dripping through, wow. unfortunately. Um, anyway, so we are standing in the double arrow slit room, mainly because you can see there uh, the double arrow slit. Um, and you don't actually find this feature in a lot of castles. Mainly because it's a good idea and concept, you know, to have two soldiers stationed there looking out this way, looking out mm. that way. Unfortunately, the way they executed it wasn't very well. Um, basically, you could have two soldiers there. Unfortunately, though, they didn't have enough armor to fully draw back their arrows. Um, and they actually ended up having to aim over each other, which uh, was very oh. convenient, <laughs> unfortunately. As I said, a good idea and concept, just execute badly. And that's why you don't see it on a lot of castles. Mm. Um, and as well, we do have a pipe there we are. oh yeah interesting. so now obviously the head um is uh is authentic the stick obviously has been added on right. um but yeah so this would have been a pretty deadly weapon that they would have yeah. used by the normans and um it's actually a very clever thing because as you can see it's very long and this is because their majority of their of their enemies of their attackers had swords and were coming running up to you and trying to slash you so the normans actually came up with a clever way um, now, obviously, I don't know if it was normal to came up with the way, it's probably just the way um, the, uh, the equipment just developed. But they figured out that if they could have um, a, a distance from them while still being able to attack them, they'd have less casualties because they wouldn't be able to reach them. Sure. So that's why it's incredibly long. And as you can see, it was obviously used as a kind of a spear. To poke mm -hmm. here. We have a, a blade here, uh, a blade here to uh, slash and poke and cut and, um, and stab, yeah. A lot of blood on that. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't like to be the one in the end. <laughs> we do as well um, have. Apologies, Aaron. Tassels. Uh, sure. The tassel. Yeah. We do as well, as I mentioned, uh, we have Bill's sword. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, it is a bit rusted up, um, but uh, yeah. So this is this is the sword that he was gifted by the Japanese family. It's uh, It's really, really. Well kept, um, in my opinion, judging right. by the other things that are so well kept here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we are making plans on uh, fixing this up, maybe getting it, uh, you know, uh, burnished. Yeah, burnished, yeah, you know, yeah, nice yeah. polished up and getting it, maybe even sharpened, possibly. Don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, so this was given to him by the Japanese family, as I said, um, and he actually slept with this by his bedside. Um, now, there is a reason for this. So, um, the Irish Republican Army, the IRA, back in the 1950s, uh, 40s, uh, and 60s, were a very big group, a terrorist group. Um, obviously, they were against uh, Britain uh, having control of the North and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, and since Bill had actually fought in the war, obviously, I, I, Ireland was uh, neutral, completely neutral. Um, technically, he was aiding the British, and that's why he was a target to the IRA. So he slept at this by his bedside in his regular bed with Anita on the other side, um, just by his bedside, laying there just in case. Um, so yeah, that would have been quite a scary thing to be a target of a terrorist organization. Um, but yeah, so this is it. Uh, interesting. This is the that he slept by. Yeah, it's fascinating. Uh, yeah. I like the curtains. <laughs> um, yeah, and actually, this would have been when when Anita and Leon and um, Bill and they all lived here. This would have been Leone's bedroom as a child growing up. Um, and actually, she had the choice of choosing this room or another room. And she actually chose this room because of the uh, vegetation. Um, as a little girl, for some reason, it, it appealed to her. Um, so she slept here. This is her, this is her room. Um, yeah. We also do have a, a fox head as well. Yeah. Um,